So my name is Leonie Badger. Um, I am a furniture and product designer. Um, and I am basically in the field of designing furniture. So from tables, chairs, shelves, and hopefully other things in the future. So, so far I've made concrete lights and some wood lights and um, smaller lifestyle products as I call them. So I have a food platter range, food serving platter range and um, some vases as well and hoping to expand that soon as well. I think fundamentally I love design which is why I studied architecture in school. Um, so I've had like a bit of a back and forth with art. When I was in high school I did art in the first half for my IGCSEs and then later on I didn't do any art, I just focused science, math, blah blah blah. And then I went to university, um, I was going to be an engineer. So I was going to do civil engineering and then after the first year I realized, like I walked into the architecture department, I didn't know anything about it. I just got lost one day and I found it and um, I just started thinking about, you know, I had never thought about architecture or buildings that as art forms. Um, it's not something that we focus on that much here, I think. Um, most of the architectural gems around are, the, are from the 60s and so on, and maybe now we're starting to see more. But I would say growing up, I never really noticed architecture. So it didn't really, like, it didn't stick out to me as an option. So when I went to school, and I saw all of that. I was like, oh, maybe this, you know, this could, this could work for me because it, it has art in it and then it also addresses, you know, functional, practical needs. So there's a lot of that science um, training and science interest or that interest in like, you know, not just making something, but then also figuring out, you know, how does it fit together, all of that. So that's how I ended up in this space. A lot of people have, are very interested in my work and I've had a lot of good feedback, so that's been really encouraging. Um, and I would say that the most challenging part of doing things here would be the production side of things. But in terms of like the reception and the interest, I am, you know, I'm happy with, with how it's going so far. I'm just beginning, but so far so good. There isn't that much industrial design going on. I mean, we've always had joinery, production, you know, we've always had people that are able to make things. But in terms of like designing things, like really thinking about, you know, what are you making? What value is it adding aesthetically and all of that? I would say that it's in the beginning. Like I haven't, I couldn't find that much to, to look at as inspiration. There's, of course, there's Constance Swanica, who does a lot of you know, furniture and things like that. And there are a few others, but not that many. You honestly just have to do it. Like, I thought about it for a while. And the only way that I was able to get anywhere was just by like picking up a piece of wood or go picking up my pen, drawing something, taking it to whoever I needed to help me make it and actually, you know, going through that process. So if you want to make things, you can't, you can't just be sitting out thinking about how you want to make things. You really just have to get your hands dirty as soon as possible. Try it out, see what the reception is like and then see how you can, um, you know, meet what the market wants with off but and of course meets what you want to do um, as an artist and as, an, as a designer. Future for me, hopefully, um, obviously scaled up, you know, I want to have like a really good team that I'm working with so that I'm able to, you know, design and make more. I would like to also be able to take my work outside of Ghana into the world. <laughs>